Cancerians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your singles love reading. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for personal details either. I will also never give you a cell phone number to call, okay? So let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Cancerians, this is your singles love reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to your energy. So let's see what comes up for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know regarding their singles love situation? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Uh, we have the Equilibrium card, which is the Temperance card, of course. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Okay. Um, so we've got the star energy, we've got the death card, we've also got the temperance card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know regarding their singles love situation? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, they want me to uh, move on. I thought that they wanted another one from that deck, but they said no. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? I mean, we have the letter there, so that means there's going to be some sort of communication between you and uh, a person. Uh, let's see. Uh, Page of Pentacles. So there's someone new entering your energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? Uh, we've got a beautiful new start. Now, they do want me to go one more for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Uh, can you please guide? We've got the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Oh, third one, and then we're done. That's what they've just said. Uh, third one, Two of Swords. Okay. So, now, when we've got the full card with the Two of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, this can mean that sometimes we're a little bit nervous to take a leap of faith in some area of our life. So if you're resisting change, um, you know, I'm not pointing the finger at you, but there's just this energy. I mean, the, the transformation card, which is a death card, is in the, it's in the resistance position. So um, there's just an energy, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this. This is the energy that's coming out straight away. If you always do what you always did, you're always going to get the same outcome. Okay, so they just want you to be aware of that. Um, but let's move on because uh, I'm going to see what's going on for you. We got the star energy, so I feel like you are healing something. Um, but there is someone new entering your energetic sphere. I'll see where that goes. But then this reading, I'm doing it in mid-August. And it's good for the next four to five weeks. So I do feel like you're about to um, hear from somebody or you're going to be messaging someone new. But it doesn't really turn into a relationship until later on. Okay, so let's see what's coming first, though. We've got the temperance card. So this is about balance, but it's also about patience. You've had a lot of patience when it comes to love. Uh, also, I feel like you are really re-examining your priorities as to what you want, who you want to let into your life. And it's almost like I feel like you're searching for meaning. OK, um, it's like pointing at life's meaning for you. Uh, you've gained a lot of wisdom. They're showing me pearls in the water right now. And when they show me pearls, it tends to be uh, pearls of wisdom. You've gained a lot of knowledge when it comes to love. So perhaps you've gone through a very um, disruptive time in love or a chaotic time. Um, but I feel like you've learned uh, some hard lessons. Um, also, we've got the ship here. So I feel like you're focusing more on your journey. You're focusing more on your path as to where you feel you should be in life and not where you are, okay? And sometimes that makes us feel a little bit anxious. When we start to think about, oh, we should be in a relationship by now, we should be married by now, we should be successful by now, we create anxiety, we create fear of um, perhaps not quite accomplishing whatever it is we are intending to. 
you guys want you to be aware to live in the moment, okay? You're exactly where you're meant to be in this moment. And whatever you've had to release from your life was not meant for you, okay? Um, now, equilibrium is also about moderation. So I feel like you're trying to create a grounding sort of influence in your life. And you are actually aligning yourself with your needs. Um, your needs will be met, but you cannot see it right now, okay? So I feel like you're trying to find that balance and that stability. Also, uh, part of you may be wondering where you belong in the world itself at large. You're asking the bigger philosophical questions with this card. As you can see, there's a map there, and it's like, uh, you know, both this, this figure here, their, uh, their feet are on water, and then you've got on land. So I feel like um, you may be thinking of relocating in your life in some way or whether it's a career opportunity or you are um, trying to move home to somewhere near water, especially for you, my beautiful Cancerians, you're drawn to, to water, of course. But I actually get this balance between grounding your emotions and feeling like you're uh, secure. I just get this energy of feeling secure. And sometimes when we feel secure, it means we're not really pushing the boundaries or we're not taking a leap of faith. Uh, it's wonderful to be secure in a relationship, of course, but if you're in a solitary energy and you're protecting your wonderful heart or you're in a routine or a habit, a cycle perhaps, um, then we tend to not do things any different. Than usual we're just in like a, a cycle of not changing anything so they just want you to be aware of that okay um, now we've also got the ship which of course represents the journey this is your protagonist energy so I feel like you know this is a real journey of discovery the eight of cups is also covering this so I feel like you're seeking greater meaning greater authenticity in your relationships your friendships and also I feel like you've walked away from something that was emotionally not right for you okay i feel actually sometimes you don't give yourself credit you're actually fearless in your emotions okay because you're strong enough to be vulnerable and sit with those emotions uh, your emotions and your sensitivity that's your superpower don't ever change that about you my beautiful cancerians okay but you may have felt like love has not been rewarding for you or the journey of love has not been something that has been kind to you in some area um this is a card of trying to find someone who is in the flow like you are because we can only meet each other as deeply as we have met ourselves and you've met yourself pretty deeply okay so it's not going to fly that you meet someone who's superficial or uh, you know wanting a quick fix uh, you're looking for the real deal you're looking for love okay and I feel like more than anything you're trying to find peace, harmony, and to stay afloat in life in general. Uh, also, I feel like you're learning to cope with your intense emotions. Uh, now, we all have emotions, of course, and water signs tend to be very, very deep in their emotion. And sometimes it feels overwhelming, especially when we get into a love relationship. We can feel like the amount of love that we have for another person feels like so intense. It's like so overwhelming that we feel... Um, it's hard to fathom or it's hard to understand. So you do not fall in love easily, okay? But when you do, it is for keeps and it is deep. And sometimes we start to fear that we're going to lose a person because we love so much, okay? Uh, this is an insecurity that's drawing up here. Uh, so they just want you to be aware of that, okay? But you may have felt like you haven't really taken the journey of love for a long time, especially since we've got the rider in this position. It feels like things are stagnant for you. Uh, the Eight of Cups indicates, um, you know, you're not happy with the way circumstance, circumstances are right now. So I feel like you're re-examining where you've been in terms of love, your connection, your uh, relationship with love itself, not just with a person, but with love itself, where you are right now and where you want to go, okay? Now, the person who is fearless, and that is you, my beautiful Cancerians, fearless enough to walk away from situations that are not meant for you or are not emotionally rewarding, you're releasing things from the past and you're moving forward. Um, that figure that is fearless to leave that behind actually stumbles upon the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment, okay? So I feel like you're on the path to getting what you want. Now, the Eight of Cups also is a journey. So some of you may be actually traveling. Uh, some of you may actually um, have a desire to travel by water 
or um, travel to somewhere pastures new or just take a vacation because the protagonist energy is all about journey. OK, so I feel like also on this journey, you are sort of working out some really difficult emotions and processing things from the past. Uh, it could be childhood issues. It doesn't have to be, but it can be, um, you know, relationships from the past. Because I feel like you're starting to evolve in a way that you see that you're actually quite a catch. Because sometimes you look at yourself like, what do you have to offer? Okay, and it's not about that. The right person is actually going to love all parts of you. Okay, so just so you're aware. So if you've been in a situation in the past, um, whether you were bullied and they've knocked your confidence or whether you went through a relationship that was detrimental to your self-esteem or knocked um, your uh, self-image in some way, they're indicating you're building back better. Okay, and you are learning to have that confidence again. I also feel like you really were not focused on love. There's so many signs this month that I'm picking up the energy. It's like love is not really the major focus. It's about the journey. Uh, and of course, we're going through a difficult period in humanity. Uh, so, you know, your focus may be on staying afloat in a world where uh, things are changing rapidly around us. And we're trying to remain in a state of flow and um, to sort of roll with the punches of life, shall we say. So your your primary focus, I feel, has not been about love. It has been about your journey. It's been about yourself, self-discovery. You've been doing a lot of personal growth, a lot of personal work, okay? Um, and that's actually setting you up to meet somebody new, which is perfect. Um, we've got the transformation card, which is the death card, but it's in the resistance position. So it's like, uh, I got it in the reverse. So it's like things have been stagnant. OK, they've been pretty immobile and you may even feel helpless to change your circumstances. You know something needs to give. You know something needs to change. But right now you've been focused on yourself. OK, and the personal journey work is very important. OK, it sets you up to meet somebody in your authentic energy. And it also allows you to raise your frequencies to meet someone who also has a higher frequency. And we've got a perfect match for two souls entering a healthy relationship. OK, but by the end of the four to five weeks, this reading, uh, there is a change because uh, by the end of the fifth week, the transformation card goes from this to this, which means there is change. You're making way or making space for something greater, something better. OK, so there's a new beginning here happening for you. You're leaving past situations behind. And I feel like you've done that a long time ago, my beautiful Cancerians. But there may be some, especially since we went through that super moon energy and that was pretty intense for everybody, made you feel like you couldn't sleep properly, uh, made you feel intense in your emotions, very, very sensitive. And, you know, even like either a little bit grouchy or um, a little bit, um, how can I put that, a little bit sad and in places a little bit upset, you know, that's the energy of that time period. But we're coming through that energy now and it's actually helping you transform into something more positive in terms of energy. We also have the rider. Now, the rider is about movement forward. But of course, again, because we got it in the reverse, you feel like there's nothing happening or there was nothing happening. But the rider indicates um, by the end of the fifth week, there's going to be some quick changes. OK, suddenly you're going to be messaging somebody new. The page is someone being curious about you, someone um, who um, puts an effort into getting to know you better. Someone who I mean, this person, they don't have to be younger than you. I'm going to pull a card on that. But I feel like there is a change in your circumstances. Suddenly someone new enters the mix. OK, now this person may have strong earth in their chart. You've got very, very you've got I mean, you've got a lot of water in your chart. Of course, you're Cancerians, but I feel like you've been going through a very sensitive sort of evolution, shall we say, with regards to your emotions. And you're about to meet someone who's actually got a very healthy grounding force in your life. This person may be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Uh, but I feel like you and this person are going to exchange messages back and forth, back and forth. Now, this could be someone that you work with that is not in your department that you may be exchanging messages to and fro. It could also be because the page pentacles can connect to work sometimes, uh, but it could also be someone that you uh, meet perhaps traveling and then you're exchanging messages. I mean, you could even go online dating, but I feel like you and this person, you actually get to know each other 
a little bit more through messaging before you get to know each other in the physical sense is what I'm picking up first of all uh, but this person um, this person is very uh, patient um, this person raises you up in your energy this is a new person pages tend to bring news uh, and new sorry they tend to bring a new energy but also uh, they tend to bring news so uh, messaging back and forth. So I feel this person, I mean, you've also got the message, uh, the letter here. So this, I feel like this person is someone that you will be exchanging ideas or, um, yeah, messages back and forth. I keep getting this. It is very romantic. That's what I get. I feel like this person that you're meeting is quite poetic. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys and Angels. Can you please clarify? Thank you so much, the Empress. Nine of Swords. Okay, so the Empress and the Nine of Swords. So the Empress in the verse tells me that um, there may be some confidence issues here. Um, you may also feel like um, that sometimes you have a fear, perhaps, that you are too old to look for love and that it's not happening for you or that time is running out. That's not the case at all, okay? And for those of you who are not worried about, um, you know, your age and things like that, I feel this is about you... <clears throat> It's almost like I feel like you've neglected your own needs or you've been very sort of like sometimes just feeling like you're not attractive or you're not good enough. There's just this, I mean, when you get the Empress in reverse, it tends to mean that you don't feel your best self and your guides want you to be aware that you're releasing that energy, okay? The Nine of Swords in reverse is like recovering from low self-confidence or, um, you know, maybe even a very difficult circumstance if you had a relationship in the past that really um, sort of like pull the, the carpet from underneath your feet. Um, I feel like you're healing from that, okay? Um, the, the Nine of Swords also in the reverse indicates like liberation from worry or nervousness. So some of you may be shy, okay? So I feel like you're going to get a boost of confidence as you move through the next four to five weeks. And this person, well, I got a beautiful smell of perfume right now. Um, uh, they want you to be aware that whenever you smell perfume just out of the blue uh, your guides want you to be aware that there is someone in spirit that's just passing through letting you know that they're around you and that they are taking care of you okay that you're not alone they but not alone in a good way okay they want you to be aware everything's going to be okay and they want you to love yourself a little bit more don't be so hard on yourself is what they're showing me Okay, I'm going to pull another card. Um, when you first meet this new person, I feel part of you thinks that they're not interested in a romantic sense, but I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Okay, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide? How'd you like to receive? Seven of Wands in the reverse. It's almost like you've given up on love. Four of Pentacles, protective nature, holding on. King of Wands in the reverse. Now, some of you, and this is not going to resonate for everyone because there, there's a small percentage of energy coming through, but some of you tend to uh, think about someone else or th there's a memory of someone else, someone who was not perhaps ready for a mature relationship, someone who um, was, there was a lot of chemistry between this person, uh, very chaotic energy. Um, now, this person may have given up on the relationship or walked away, or you did, my beautiful Cancerians, because the Eight of Cups tells me you're walking away from the past. But I feel there may have been some sort of experience with somebody that's made you feel very, very guarded and almost give up on love. So when this new person comes in, the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant in the reverse is separation. So this is either someone you separated from. Uh, there's a new person. I just want you to be aware of there's a new person. But I feel like the experience of a separation or even a divorce has made you sort of not focus on love or give up in some way. Uh, you don't want the past person. That is for sure with the Four of Cups. But there is a new energy entering in. When you get the Four of Cups in the reverse, this means there's a new option on the horizon, okay? Um, now, you may have been fed up or um, disenchanted, shall we say, with um, 
the way love has gone for you. And from the per past person, I feel like you're definitely bored of um, the pattern that they tended to be in. You, you don't want anybody like that is what they're showing me. Can you please show me the new person? Can you please show me the new person? Okay, so ha, they're showing me it's not per a person from the past. The judgment card, uh, the judgment card tends to be uh, the card of second chances, but it's in the reverse. So it's like you're denying a past person, or you're not, um, you're not engaging in any relationship with a, a, a person from the past. There's someone new. But also the judgment card in the reverse tells me about self-doubt or rejection being a bit of a blockage or a stagnation in your life, okay? But there is someone new and there is a happy ever after here for you. The Ten of Cups indicates this new person will make you very, very happy and vice versa, okay? Uh, this is a card of relationship blossoming into something special. Someone taking the journey of life with you um, it's someone you've been manifesting in, but I feel like you're going to be messaging this person back and forth first. You're actually going to get to know this person really well before you actually properly date each other. Okay, that's what they're showing me um, through words. Words are important. Um, so either you actually have an online connection with somebody or um, this is someone who works in a company that you work at and you're in different departments and you just strike up a conversation online or um, perhaps you meet someone and they're at a distance from you and then you exchange messages or you are about to go on a vacation or something. There's like a distance between you and this person when you first meet and then you message each other back and forth. And then it becomes something real. It becomes something really special, okay? Um, so we got the star energy, which is the outcome, and that's a wish come true, okay? That is, stars are aligning to put you in a position to meet this new person. Now, some of you, uh, you know, they keep bringing me back to the rider. So either you or this person ride uh, horses, um, or you may, you may have decided to go on like a course of learning how to ride a horse, or you're on vacation and you're riding a horse, or maybe you have a connection in some way to a horse, a ranch, or maybe you're, this new person has. So please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, also in the water, they're showing me a marble. Marble, you know, a little ball, a little marble, glass marble, very colorful, really beautiful. Um, they're showing me that that is a signifier for you. So you may be walking down the sidewalk and you see a marble on the sidewalk or uh, you find a marble in a very strange place. Something like, you know, in, in the corner of your home or on the seat or in your shoe or something like that. That is a, a, an indication from spirit that you're about to meet somebody. They want you to be aware, okay, of the symbols and the signs that they're leaving you. Uh, so a little marble. I mean, it may even be that you're riding the subway and there's a little child and they they hold up a marble or something like that. It's, it's, it's going to be a poignant moment for you, okay? Um, now, we've got the star, which is also about healing, but it's about hope. It's about clarity. Suddenly you see why uh, situations from the past never worked out. Um, and I feel this is about you suddenly being in the spotlight, being re you know recognized, standing out from the crowd, my beautiful Cancerians, and noticed by this person. This new person is really making the effort. There's someone that um, is very grounded. Um, now, if you're going on a course of learning, you may also meet this person at a course of learning and, you know, between courses or between classes, you are messaging each other back and forth all the time. Um, but this person is very dependable. They're very warm. Okay. Um, now this person is quite romantic, but also they're very practical. So they do things. They try to help you or, you know, if you've got a problem, they try to solve it, uh, you know, and I'm not saying that you can't do these things by yourself, my beautiful Cancerians, because you're awesome, you're, um, you know, you're a hero or a shero of your own story already, so you're capable, but I feel like this person goes out of their way to be helpful. So if you're, for example, if you're in a, you decide to put yourself on a course of learning a new hobby, and in the class you just mention that, um, You've run out of paint. I don't know. This person is the sort of person who's going to get up and say, you know what, I'll go get you some paint. They want to be helpful. They want a connection with you. Okay, so watch out for anyone who's being extra helpful, uh, even at work, because I just get this energy that this person wants to get closer to you um, and they do things. 
to let you know. They're, they they have wonderful words, but also they back it up with action. Okay, they want you to be aware of that. Um, now, the star energy, uh, I mean, this person could also have a strong Aquarius in their chart, but I actually get that this is a renewal of hope. Suddenly, things get brighter in your love life, okay? Um, you can discuss new ideas with this person. You're very connected with this person. Um, you're in a new phase of life. Take the leap. They want you to take the leap of faith. Uh, we've got the letter, of course, so back and forth messaging uh, with this new person. It becomes, I feel like you get to know this person through their words before you really connect to them physically, okay? Uh, but I will pull a quick card on that. Also, there's something about this person. They're quite old-fashioned in the way that they want to date, which is very romantic and suits you just fine, is what they're giving me. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide the world card in the reverse? Yeah, there's a delay. Yeah, there's a delay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? I want one more, please, just to clarify that Seven of Pentacles. Thank you so much. Okay, yeah. Um, so the Queen of Swords tells me there's going to be a lot of communication between you and this person, but it's like the fifth week. It's still communication, back and forth, back and forth. So the wool card indicates a slight delay. And by that, I mean, you're going to meet this person, but it's going to be like communication back and forth first before it becomes something like physical, shall we say. Uh, the wool card in the reverse also is a card of um, doubt. Okay, so uh, some of you may doubt this connection first. You may think that this person is just being really nice on the course or really nice and helpful from work, but actually they have a romantic interest, okay? We've got the strength card, so that's to find courage and to have that inner calm and patience, of course, because this is like a slow burn relationship, but it builds a really strong foundation, okay? You always hear about, you know, People saying, my partner is also my best friend. That's the sort of person that I feel is coming for you, okay? We've also got the Four of Cups, which is um, a surprise gift. This person, it's going to come as a surprise. Suddenly, there's feelings involved and um, that this person loves you, okay? I feel like you will feel fulfilled, um, but you're not expecting it. And we've got the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're just working away. Seven of Pentacles, um, you know, I mean... It's almost like Seven of Pentacles is a card of uh, patience, investment, and, you know, success. So it's like you and this person, you get to know each other. You invest in each other. Um, and it's a card of duality. So I feel like it's an exchange. Both of you are going to be exchanging messages and, like, planning to meet up and things like that. Um, but part of you, because I feel like there may be some sort of distance, part of you may actually wonder, is it worth it? But actually, it turns into something really special. The Queen of Swords, there's a little bit of guardedness here. Uh, but I feel like um, with the Queen of Swords, and I feel like this is your energy, my beautiful Cancerians, even though this is an air card, an air element, I feel like it's about communication, getting to know each other, um, and being really honest and open with each other. Also, um, yeah, I feel like, There is a part of you that when you meet this person, how can I put that? It's, I feel like there's part of you that's like, does this person like me? Do they not like me? I feel like this person's going to um, not take a, a long time to indicate that they like you, but I feel it's such a slow burn that you will I feel like part of you will enjoy it actually because it's kind of like you know those butterflies but at the same time I just feel like don't rush it okay that, that's what I feel the message is from the spirit the sun I mean sun in reverse is like delay okay they keep giving me the same energy thank you so much spirit guides great angels can you please guide low confidence two of wands waiting the lovers in the reverse hmm Okay, um, can you please clarify the lovers in reverse? Queen of Cups. Okay, so there's someone, now part of you, and don't shoot the messenger when I say this, there's part of you, 
that may be waiting for either healing from a past situation or um, you've given up on love because of a past situation. And it's like, we've got six of, six of wands in the reverse, which is like walking away from something. It's also lack of confidence, um, giving up. We've got the lover's card in the reverse. It's like you've given up on love or finding a soulmate. So if part of you feel like this new person is actually just being really nice person, just kind, they're actually flirting. And uh, because this person's quite traditional, they're not going to get cheeky with you or saucy with you, um, with you just yet. This person is respectful. Okay. Um, of course, they'll, they'll get like really cheeky later on in the relationship. Um, but the lover's card in the reverse, I feel... You're not really sure. We got the Queen of Cups in the reverse. It's like insecurity. This is your card, my beautiful Cancerians, okay? Queen of Cups is a Cancerian card, and it's like you're just not really sure. And the Two of Wands, there is a wait, okay? So it's a will they, won't they? They keep giving me the same energy. Uh, now, the other energy I'm getting out of this is that there is someone from your past that you haven't healed yet or is still in your energetic sphere. You may not want that person from the past, but it may have influenced the way that you operate in love. So you're very guarded. I mean, sometimes the two of wands also is a card of expectation. So a yearning that perhaps someone from your past will return. Um, so, I mean, this is a singles love reading, so I'm not really sure if you want someone from the past, but this person is showing up, so perhaps it's healing stuff from the past uh, can you please show me a little bit more on that knight of pentacles okay you're not giving to it okay so uh it wasn't working the, the knight of pentacles in reverse it's not working with that past person can you show me uh the future person and the communication the hangman in the reverse king of pentacles in the reverse the Fool in the reverse, and the Nine of Cups. What is this? It's like... The Hangman in the reverse is like... How can I put that? It's like... I don't want to say missed opportunity because it's not that. You're actually going to connect to this person, but just not in the f five weeks that um, I'm doing this reading for. So I'm gonna ask again, but after, into more into September, the end of September for you, just to see. Um, we got the King of Pentacles here. And the King of Pentacles is like, not following through on something, um, not really engaging it, not giving any energy to it. The full card, I mean, you got the full card here, which is like, you should be taking a leap of faith, but the full card says you're not ready to, or you're feeling like uh, a little bit cynical. And the Nine of Cups is like, you know, I said, you've, you've, the person who walks away in the Eight of Cups stumbles on the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is here. It's like, you know, you're not there yet or you're not ready for it yet. Or maybe it's like you're not really sure what you're looking for. You're still in that self-discovery phase. Um, now, my guides are reminding me that the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Thank you so much. I'm sure grateful. Nine of Cups in the reverse is also about you can't look for quick results with this you can't fast track this okay uh they want you they want you to take it slow with this person this new person on purpose so that you can build trust so that you can build a foundation so that you can feel emotionally secure and know that this person is has got your back through thick and thin so the letter phase the going back and forth is actually going to help the relationship so that may be disappointing to some but it just keeps coming up so I, each deck it just keeps coming up, so I have to give you the message that I'm getting. Uh, we got the full card, so that does indicate that um, starting something new, uh, being open-hearted and playful, being curious about love again is something that you will do towards the end of the five weeks. Um, the full card is also about having faith, okay? But I feel like you're swinging between the two. Having faith, thinking about the things that you do not have or lack or worrying about uh, loss, and then the two of swords, which is like stalemate. So it's like if you keep focusing on the feel on the things that you feel like you don't have to offer in love, then you'll always remain in a stalemate energy. The two of swords indicates, you know, uh, uncertainty, stalemate, 
time to take a break and look for answers within. And the Five of Pentacles can mean that you've been going through a, a difficult time and you've been struggling with either confidence or taking the leap of faith, getting back in the game of dating, shall we say. And that's okay too. You will find the right moment for you. Um, I do feel like the messaging back and forth allows you to have the time before you take that leap of faith and you will. There is a new adventure opening up to you uh, in love and your guides want you to be aware um, that this new person is someone you can trust. Okay, this person is actually a dream come true, kind of. I mean, there's no person that's perfect in the whole wide world. That's uh, important to remember. But this person who's uh, coming on in, new person, um, they are very intuitive. They're very um, attentive, very loving. Can you show me anything more that my beautiful Cancerians need to be aware? Communication. Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is like guarded the queen of swords is also someone who is abrupt or you know i feel like you feel when you meet this new person that you're just you're just having a conversation but this new person thinks they're getting to know you better on a deeper level six of swords you're being guided towards this person knight of cups i mean the knight of cups is showing in the reverse can you show me beyond the five weeks. Can you show me beyond the five weeks for my beautiful Cancerians? Wheel of Fortune. Destiny steps in. Oh, okay. I've got to go get those two cards. One moment, please. OMG. I wish I could show... Well, I'm about to show you the cards, but I can see them right now. It's a star and the Page of Pentacles. I kid you not. I'll just go get that one moment, please. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You can't write this, my beautiful Cancerians. You can't write it, okay? The star is to be able to see with clarity and also your hope returns in the Page of Pentacles. This person puts the effort in, okay? No matter how much you push this person away, this new person, I mean, if you're not interested in this person, of course, they're going to go away, right? They're not going to force the issue. But I feel that th if you're guarded, this person is going to take the time to climb those walls and try to get to know you better. They, they're going to put in the effort. This person is someone you can trust. This is someone who actually raises you up and they give you everything that they've got, this person, this new person, okay? Um, so yeah, I keep, I mean, destiny intervenes. This person is destined to meet you and they're destined to get to know you on a deeper level and take things further. But because we have the Six of Swords here, I feel like you're moving out of emotional difficulty if you've been healing. And the Knight of Cups is like you're not looking for love right now. Or you, you're just like, love's not on the table for you right now in your mind. It's almost like a cynical mind where you're like, no, it's not going to happen for me. I just know. I just, you know, I, it just never works out in my favor. I've dealt with not having love for so many years. It's not coming for me. Don't worry, Baba. It's just not coming. But... Destiny is enter entering the mix here. Fate is bringing you to meet this new person. And they're going to offer, and they're going to try and um, get to know you on a deeper level. But it, it doesn't start off as love, if you know what I mean. It starts off of you and this person building a friendship, um, getting to know each other. This person is very helpful. You will know who this person is because they want to do everything they can in their power to help you. Okay? Um... So that's what they're showing me for um, the next four to five weeks and just beyond. But it becomes something romantic later on, like at the end of September into October, it becomes something romantic. We've got sprout, beginnings, growth, potential. New opportunities will be revealed to you. They want me to go two more. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Uh, they're just showing me on the floor. Um, well, I'm scrying in the water, uh, but they're showing me a stamp on the floor, on the sidewalk. So look out for a stamp on its own. I mean, it could be a stamp from any country. I can't quite see what it is, but they're just showing me it's a stamp. So this could also mean that this new person is from a different part of the world than you, or you're going on a vacation and you meet this person. 
or the reason why you and this person are delayed in getting together is because one or both of you have to go on some sort of trip or business trip or vacation. So you've got time apart and you're messaging each other while you're away. And then when you come back, then you sort of rekindle things and it works out. Okay, so a stamp, look out for a stamp on the floor. Um, so the first card we got here is Sprout and beginnings growth potential. New opportunities will be revealed to you. And as we know, you know, a sprout, it takes time, but it grows and it becomes rooted and grounded and is something stable that you can trust. We've also got maze and it says path choices puzzle. Use logic when navigating this situation. And that's what that queen of swords is all about. Okay, she's very logical. So, this person also, if you're someone who is very guarded, my beautiful Cancerians, or emotionally um, very complex, I feel, uh, this person is going to take the time to get to know you better. And we've also got number 17, which is a star energy, so for healing, and it says sage. Sage your home and personal space regularly to expel any negative energies and promote mental clarity. Cleanse, purify, clear. Now, I'm not saying go around your home and like purge your space, but I feel it's more about peace of mind, knowing that you deserve love and that you are lovable, and you know, being honest with yourself. If you're a homebody and you're not putting yourself out there to meet love, whether it's online dating or getting out into the mix to meet new people, then of course it's going to be difficult for the universe to put this new person on your path. So I feel like the changes that you're making, you're actually gonna put yourself in the position to meet this person and you get to know each other on a deeper level and it becomes something really beautiful. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Um, they want another one. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide? And one more, okay? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know? Okay, so the first card is Squirrel, always be prepared. And it says, you are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. Okay? So always be prepared. Because I feel like this person is going to take you a little bit off guard. So maybe that's why they're saying, you know, always be prepared. We've also got Fox Clever. And we've got two beautiful foxes there coming together. And it says, you are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. Okay, be open to romance because this person's coming in and they're giving it their all. Okay, and again, as I said, of course, if you're not interested in this person, then, you know, give them a wide berth. But, you know, I feel like you are. Uh, now, we've also got Owl Magic. Choose to know the truth because you can. Open your inner vision. You can see through deception. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. So if you've got any insecurities or um, any um, thing that you feel is influencing you from a past situation, whether you have trust issues or um, you know, you, you've been lied to in the past, um, I feel like letting that go is important because this new person is not that. This new person is someone who, um, if you feel the same way about this person, they deserve to be given a fresh new chance and fresh new start, okay? Because they're a new energy in your life. Um, and just going to get a rune before we close. We got the sun. Victory, clear vision, um, feeling at home, relationships are blossoming. Uh, and this is about achievement, success. So a lot of positive energy here for you uh, with the sun ruin as well. Uh, this is about, you know, when you get the sun, this is about abundance, but it's also uh, a time where relationships flourish, okay? Uh, in embracing that childlike spirit, feeling free again to open yourself up to, to love. So I'll leave it there, my beautiful Cancerians. I hope something resonates in this reading for you. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very, very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians. Love and light.